Hey, everyone. So rather than declaring properties in Python like this dynamically, where you can just go crazy and keep on adding properties and so on, there's a more professional way of doing these kind of things, but actually less error prone way of doing things. So here we can see we have a dog class that we declared above, and we are then going to give the dog a name, an age, favorite food, and so on. But rather than keep on adding these properties dynamically because they are nowhere mentioned in our class, what we should do is we should use this initialize method. So this initialize method or function ensures that your properties are declared when you create the object. So here you can see we created the dog object, but we didn't really pass it anything. We created everything dynamically over here. So what we can do is we can actually now use the def keyword. So remember, this is just like any other function. So you use the def keyword and just use this underscore underscore here so these are two underscores for your information so you just do underscore underscore and then this cell of course is just referring to, to, to that particular instance so you always use that if you want to work on any variable for access any variables within your code that belong to that particular instance so here what we're going to do is when we say dog, we're going to give it a name. So uh, in this instance, we're going to pass the name in this fashion. So we will give Rex and we're going to give it age of two. So then what we can do is we can take out this bit. So we don't need these two lines. And I will leave, leave the other dynamic properties just to show you that you can continue to do that. So mix the initialization properties as well as dynamic properties mentioned here. So you can do both. So what we'll do is um, we will run this code over here. And then when we run this code over here, you can see that we still get a hello from the dog and we still get the name Rex. This is because uh, when we say call the say name function, it prints self dot name, which you can see is being assigned here in the initialization method. So the name and the age get transferred here and get transferred into self dot name and self dot age. So then you don't have to dynamically declare them, but you can dynamically declare them here. And you can see it does have the same effect as before. So name um, is stored here as Rex age of two. So all this is still stored in this dictionary variable here. So that's just something built into Python. And you can see here by call the same uh, same name method over here which basically prints the name of the dog. So rather than dynamically create them, we created them when we created the instance or in initialized the object of a dog into this variable. So this is a better way of working with properties rather than dynamically creating them like this on the fly.